This is a patient who had a bladder cancer that was quite adherent to the sigmoid colon. And so the patient ended up getting a cystectomy with an ileal conduit creation and a sigmoidectomy as well. Post-op, patient wasn't doing so well, so got a CAT scan with intravenous neural contrast. We can already start to see in the first couple of slices, there's gas surrounding the distal esophagus. And more below, there's more pronounced retroperitoneal gas and fluid surrounding the left kidney in the uh, left perinephric space. There's a bunch of distended loops of bowel as well. And as we go down to the pelvis, we can see that there are large pelvic collections. They contain foci of gas, and these are compatible with abscesses. And so why does this patient have all these abscesses? Well, we can start to follow the sigmoid colon a little bit to uh, try to figure this out. We can see it over here, going upwards here. Also looping downwards again, as we go up to the anastomotic uh, site, you can see that there's all this fluid that's sort of pouring out of that region and uh, filling up uh, these collections in the pelvis, and these collections are all communicating with one another. And so this ended up being a sigmoid anastomotic dehiscence with numerous pelvic abscesses, as well as foci of gas that were really tracking up the retroperitoneal fascial planes, going all the way up into the posterior mediastinum.